Hi friends. Okay, so I'm going to show you a cool thing you can do with GarageBand, which is kind of the GarageBand assignment for the week. Click on GarageBand, and when you go there, you're going to go ahead and click on New, and you have all sorts of fun things to scroll through. There's audio recording where you can do your own stuff. You can play with strings. You can play with bass, guitar, world music. Um, and you could do drummer. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and have you do is go to drums, not drummer, but drums, and then quick click on beat sequence. When you go to beat sequence, you're going to notice that you have four beats here, and then each group of four is a measure. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you need to decide what sounds you want for each beat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my drumsticks here and I'm gonna give drumsticks every single beat one of every measure. Then I wanna figure out, okay, a lot of times our hi-hat, that's this right here, two symbols that come together, they go on the off beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna skip a measure here, do that. Now you notice the clap. So I want to have it in a similar spot, but beat on two and four. So what I'm going to do is do two clap. And I like that so much. And then you can do a bass drum. A lot of times bass drums happen on one and three. So let's go ahead and, and I'm going to go ahead, beat one, two. Okay, now I'm going to do three. And you can just play around with that. Now, if you want to just play, okay, what happens if I do some random stuff? You see? And so I can play around with it. It's really pretty cool. Okay? So I'm pretty happy with this. You don't have to use all of the instruments that you hear. Now, if you're happy and you're going to record it, this is so that you can save it for other projects. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button. So it's recording that for me. And notice this, this is how long it's recording. You don't want it to go too long. And I went ahead and stopped. So that should be all saved. And then if you notice, I have this, I'm gonna go back here in the corner and it's been saved my song. You can also name it. So I'm gonna name it Beats done. And then if I'm going to go ahead and submit my assignment, what I can do is click on this and then I can go ahead and go to share and I go to song. And then I have to say what quality I want. You probably want high quality. You don't have to do highest. It won't, you don't need that. And then I go to share and then right here is where you're gonna have the option to do Canvas. So I can go there for Canvas and it's exporting the song and it's gonna ask me about where I'm going to put it. So for this, you would put go to course and you would click on digital arts, which will come up in yours. Once you click in digital arts, if you go to assignments, click on assignments and then you can submit and you're good to go. And we'll show you some cool things you can do with that when you're done. All right, take care, have fun, bye-bye.